Hello guys, and welcome back. Where we last left off, I was killing the Austrians over here in their ambush. And now, um, I don't believe I can do anything else. So, yeah, I believe that's next turn. I'll just move this up. So yeah, next turn. Okay, I don't quite know what's going on here. Like, my men are really far back in the woods, and they, they want to ambush them, but I don't think that would turn out well, so I'm just gonna... Let... Oh god. <laughs> there was like five stacks attacking that one city. Uh, that could prove to be a bit of an issue, but um, I'm sure I'll fight for it all the same. You know, I'll be fine. Don't think it'll actually be fine. I believe that my man will run out of ammo like in Dresden. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Russia always takes its time now. Although not as long as it used to. Uh, I'm just gonna say no, and then destroy you. I lost 45 men there. And here, yeah, just gonna do that. That's 2,000 men dead. And bam, I guess it's gonna be another 2,000 men dead. That's Greece. Lost like 5,000 men, I think. Because I said 2,000 twice, but it had the hundreds, which I didn't say about. And now there is a ton of... What is this? Planes! Okay, can I just... Can I just see? Okay, there's like three stacks and then there's two over here. So yeah, five stacks just standing around. Uh, if I put you over... Okay, could have been better. Uh... Now you're in Switzerland. I don't think you're going to be safe. I could have actually come out and attack them. Might work. Yeah, there's two stacks here. I'm just going to quickly deal with Scotland. Who's here, by the way? Okay, I guess I can't quite find out. Over here. Move you out, move you in. Exempt from tax. You're not quite happy. And you'll be happy soon enough. Especially if I take some of the militia from here and move them in. There we go. Uh, you can move up and try and... Actually, you can go for Dresden. God help you. Over here, I should probably make some... Uh, rifleman. And, uh, you will go take down the Austrians! Although it's still, it still says kind of a fur fight. Auto resolve. Victory, thank god! Yeah, just go deal that one. In fact, you killed both of them! And I lost an aircraft, and air how did I lose aircraft? No idea, I didn't even know they could join in on the fight. Can they? I, I don't know. But anyway, you're bound for Switzerland now. My army for Portugal is ready to attack. And you know what, I will fight this one, so... I will see you on the bomber, folks, where I fight this quite young-looking man. So, see you then. Okay, I'm just going to make a prediction because I know, judging by the formation, they're going to be facing backwards. And... I win the grand prize of Portugal. Because that's essentially what I want here. Okay, you know, you know the drill. You know the drill. Just, just kill them. Just kill them. Doesn't matter anymore. Half my men are actually... Okay, the general's dead. You're doing pretty well already. So this young general, you know, strolls up. And is like, oh, I've got a great plan. The Greeks have used it. The Germans have used it. The Austrians have used it. The French have used it. The Great British have used it. You know, everyone's used it. Uh, what's that, sir? You're our last hope. You're our only experienced general. And it's like, what do you, what do you suggest? It's like... 
Okay, if we face backwards... Oh god, I don't like this plan. No, listen to me. If we face backwards, then we can make them feel so guilty about fighting us that they will have to run straight towards us. It's like, how, how do you figure that? It's like, well... Come on, you know, you don't you don't shoot someone in the back, because that's dishonorable for both you and us. So, well, for them and us. So, if they charge towards us, they'll have to, like, charge towards us and then face us. And when they th get close enough, we can shoot them. This is a very convoluted plan, sir. I know! You're gonna die. It's like, what do you mean? You're, you're definitely gonna die, sir. And, uh, lo and behold, that man was right. And this general, sitting atop the hill, admiring his work. This is why I joined the Cards' army, to see victory on the Portuguese plains. He was assigned specially for this task to rid the Iberian Peninsula of the Portuguese and then go straight back for the other nation. And when that, that's done, they can uh, aid in the conquest of Austria. And eventually I'll have like, uh... God, will I have like six armies all invading Russia at the same time? Like the most troops I've ever had on the Russian border. And then who knows, we might push into to Japan, because I did research this, uh... The Trans-Siberian Railway does exist, so I could actually take the Trans-Siberian Railway all the way to Japan. You know, not in-game. You know, that... Those been like an extended lore series. You really need to turn around. Well, um... You know, I do do this occasionally. I do leave the safety of the trenches to go attack the men, so I will go around the side. It's like, see? It's working! Uh, did that corpse just talk to us? I mean, lag. <laughs> but he's right! It's working! They're, they're coming straight towards us, look! Well, they're not coming quite straight towards us, they're kind of... How do you know this? You're supposed to be facing backwards. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm I'm kind of disobeying your orders. Like, you're like, you don't execute your friend's subordination. Facing forwards, they knew what I was doing this entire time. Goddamn Portuguese! Look at the, these. Already break your formation. I'm supposed to wait till I get close, so don't charge towards me. Oh well. Hopefully this, uh, should make sh uh, pretty short work of them. Again, don't know why you're facing your t on your side. I kind of put you at a disadvantage, and now you're going back into position. Huh. And you're gone now? Yeah. Yeah, so just uh, keep going sideways. You know, maybe eventually they'll actually do something. I mean, I'm still trying to get in position. They're using the lead guard, apparently. But these are my trained Spanish troops. They fought off, like, all the Spanish rebellions in the area. Some of my best troops are from Spain. But obviously the best troops are from the Netherlands. The, the actual Dutch, the people that put the evil in the evil Dutch Empire. Never trust a Dutchman. You know the Flying Dutchman? Yeah! He... he's real! He's part of the Evil Dutch Empire, he's a general. The Flying Dutchman. He's like a navy... he's like an admiral. One of my best. I mean, I haven't really had that many naval battles, but... He's one of my finest. Okay, that's gone, and they're just being completely destroyed by my artillery. Still facing backwards, you know, holding true to the plan. The great plan, engineered by all Western nations besides me.
You're not doing that much damage, are you? Like, you keep missing. You keep going forwards or backwards, but you rarely get in the center. And these trees keep blocking the way. Anyway, bring in the reserves. You know, you can come forward now. Are you still here? Okay, wavering. And broken. Everyone just sort of face that way and kill them. And they're gone. Okay, join up with the militia. I think we're about done here. It's it's a side mission. All this is a side mission. I'm here for Russia, Austria, and I guess the remains of Germany. But the rest of it's a, a distraction for the evil Dutch Empire now. Initiative 17. It wasn't popular. Even some of my, you know, generals are sent in the ranks. People said I should have finished off Germany first. You know, since it was only four provinces, but... Honestly, this probably throw my army into, like, overdrive. Like, I've now, like, doubled my army size. Which means that the invasion of Russia should go far more swiftly than it would otherwise. There's actually quite a few of them left. Although there was two stacks, I do remember that. Uh, and hopefully this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Sharpshoes over there. You wanna go take them down? Either way, just go stab them or something. Okay, they're gone. Everyone, keep moving up. Keep with the plan. Dude, it's a lot on Empire. It's it's so good to just outflank them. I just wish there wasn't so many trees. And why are you all on your side? Why is this a maneuver that we teach them? And everyone just charged. Save the ammo. In fact, most of my riflemen have ran out of ammo. And we still got uh, the Portuguese over there to deal with. Okay, uh... Take you. That's your all the ones that ran out of ammo. So you can turn around and just wait for them. You know, I could have just sat in my trenches and waited, and it would have been smarter. I would have lost a lot less people, but this episode would take about double the time. And some of you expressed uh, your interest in, you know. God, this is fast motion! You said you wanted this battle to speed up. You know, instead of me just standing there and do stuff a bit more interesting. I'm, I'm serious, this is double speed. Okay, what's slow-mo like? Okay, what's normal? Wow, you're just really slow. Anyway, uh, yeah. Keep going. Just a massive block of Portuguese people. Again. Fast motion. And I'm sorry, but I've just gotta. I can't not fire at the big clump. It's the best target ever. Does everyone, like, aim there? I'm just worried about my ammunition now. Don't turn it to the Dresden Offensive! That's... That's uh, now the official term for when you run out of ammo. Don't... Don't do that. That's what you refer to. Oh god, there's a lot of them charging me. Are they planning on stopping at some point? Okay, some of them... Some of them stopped. Did they... 
Well, we've got damage, we've got our ammo at home. We just have to charge them. I think they actually left their ammo back in Lisbon. Damn it, we were so focused on the plan that we forgot to load our guns. Oh well, stick to the plan, men. What was the plan? Just charge them. Come on, we discussed this on the way from Lisbon. Oh wait, was I finding the garrison? I think I was finding the garrison in Lisbon. This is the garrison outside of Lisbon. It's like I guess it was in such a rush that they left it all behind. And these guys come back, only to be shot down by everyone else. Oh, you're actually going for my, um, my artillery. That could be a problem. Of you, focus, and go kill. In fact, you kill there, and you go shoot over here. So much dust. Okay, kill them. I believe we're done here. In fact, that's the end of this part. I'll just keep going until we've won. And we've won. See you the results. Okay, so I lost 1,454 men, and they lost 4,690 men. Portugal is mine. And now we got this, like, orange nation here. Not bad. Prepare a few buildings, upgrade this, and get the conscripts. Damn it! There we go. Now, if I take Scotland, the in and, and I guess here. Uh, the entire western part of my empire is safe. I mean, I've still got this to worry about, but uh, that's for another time. So, thanks for watching, guys, and, uh, actually, before I go, can I leave Greece? How much do they hate me? Hate me quite a lot. I can't leave. Uh, we'll keep making some... Actually, make some riflemen. There we go. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later.